Cafe. Well, there she is, Bill. Territory of New Mexico. Someday she'll be a state in the Union. Well, I can't see why. Ain't nothing here but Indians, rocks, and worthless prairies. If you ask me, I'd say we should have stayed in Kansas. I guess you're right. It isn't much for Buffalo. Ah, there you go again. Buffalo, can't you think about nothing else? Well, hunting buffalo kind of gets into your blood. And it oughta. We've had enough bison meat in the last few months. Gabby! Thank you just the same, but they're not runaways. I'm in a hurry. But I thought that... I don't care what you thought. Will you please get down off my horses? You know, it's the prettiest rescue I ever saw. You know, you was lucky, young woman, to have a fellow like Bill Cody ride along when your horses busted loose. Why, he's the greatest buffalo hunter in the state of Kansas. But I'm not a buffalo. Snickety women. I almost broke my neck getting here. Now make sure it's exactly the same material and see that it's back here on the next stage. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Buck. I never saw a girl drive that fast before, did you? No. Must have been mighty important. Probably the matter of life or death to catch that stage. Yeah. Perhaps I'd better apologize. Howdy, miss. How are you? I know you think I was rude, but I was in a terrible hurry. I had to send all the way to Independence to match the material for a dress I'm making. See, I told you it was important. Oh, don't mind him, miss. Uh, miss... Regan. Tonya Regan. Oh, pleased to meet you, Tonya. I reckon you'll want to shake my hand, too. Why, I raised Bill here from a pup. Learned him to ride before he could walk. Name's Gabby. I was sure of it. You're new in Santa Fe, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. We came out here to join Colonel Calhoun's cavalry. Oh, I see. I suppose you'll be helping with the land survey. That's right. And we will meet again. Now what's wrong with it? Heard that name Regis, didn't you? They own one of the biggest ranchos in the whole territory. Spanish land grant. Ain't likely they want our government to tell them what they own, what they don't own. We got some special business with the Colonel. What kind of business? That's my business, you bow-legged potato bug. Colonel Calhoun's busy. There you are. I never knowed it to fail. Put a uniform on a clod-hopping mule skinner. He thinks it gives him the right to sass his better. Young feller, I was fighting Indians when you was wearing three-cornered pants. Come in, Gabby. Uh, <laughs> Howdy, Joe. Uh, that is, uh, Colonel. Report for duty, sir. <laughs> I'm glad to see you, Gabby. Mighty glad. Thanks. Seems like old time. Yes, sir. Who's this you brought with you? Quite a lot of young feller. That there's Bill Cody. Cody? Yes, sir. Well, I'm glad to know you. Well, howdy, Colonel. We've been hearing about you, Buffalo Hunter, Chief Scout for General Sheridan, and seems to me you broke a lot of records riding Pony Express. Well, I'm afraid I had to ride fast, Colonel. I generally had some Indians chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, boys. Well, I can certainly use a young man like you. 
What was resurveying the land grants and that red devil of Kuna? Comanche? One of the worst medicine men we've ever had to deal with. Clever and deadly. Strikes quickly and then disappears into the big range. He's managed to inspire the natives with superstitious awe. But now about these grants. Uh, I'm expecting my son Jerry out here from the east. He's a surveyor. You can be a lot of help to it. Well, I'm afraid I don't know much about surveying. Well, I don't expect you to. I can depend on Jerry for that. But you see, he was raised in the east, and he's going to find this country pretty strange at first. I'd like you to keep an eye on him until he gets used to it. Well, I'll sure be glad to. Bill's just a boy for you. Why, in a rip-snorting engine fight, I'd rather have him alongside of me than a whole troop of cavalry. Uh, not meaning anything personal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, go on and look over the town while I send for you. Yeah. <laughs> Buenas tardes, señorita. Has the Don missed me? No, no, señorita. He's so busy with his chess game, he didn't even know you were gone. There will be more raids. What have you done to safeguard the horses? Move them out of danger. The vaqueros have hidden the herd so cleverly that Arcuna and his Comanches haven't been able to find them. Let us hope we've heard the last of him. Still at it, I see. Neither one of you has budged an inch. I'll bet you've forgotten your tonic. Not now, Tonya. Later. Always later. When you're playing chess, you don't know or care what I'm doing. Oh, of course I do. You know where I've been? To Santa Fe. What did you say? I drove into town, alone. Tonya, you must never do that again. These are troublesome times. You might have been stopped on the road. I was. By two men on their way to join Colonel Calhoun's troops. Did they make you any trouble? No, they were very polite. In fact, one of them was almost too helpful. I don't like this, Montez. Colonel is adding to his troops. It means he intends to go through with his scheme of surveying all the properties in New Mexico. You are probably right. This survey is an insult. I will not allow it. But Don Rodriguez, Colonel Calhoun, has soldiers. And we have our vaqueros. Just let his surveyors try to come in. signals burn again. What does it say? It says wait at Little Creek Canyon. There you will hear two shots. Up there, Pelican is cut to negative.
My brother takes chances to be seen with me. I take uh... chances because I have to. The American soldiers are starting a survey of the Spanish grants. Acuna, you must tell me the location of the hidden mine, which is the secret of our tribe. A secret which only the chief may know. We were born of the same mother. But different fathers. Yours was a white man, an Americano. So the secret of the gold mine is only for me. Perhaps I can claim the land and gain possession of the mine for our tribe. But it isn't the Rigid's grant. That I will attend to. Where'll I find Colonel Calhoun? Over under that flag. I think I'm going to like this place. Not bad. Come on. <laughs> well, as long as you men are acting as scouts, you can just wear the clothes you're used to. <laughs> Jerry! I've been wondering when you were going to get here. I can't tell you how glad I am to see you. It was further than I thought. I uh, didn't know there was so much United States stretched around. <laughs> but you'll find more of it as you go along. <laughs> well, I see you brought your wardrobe with you. Not as bad as it looks. I've got some of my old field clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want you to meet Gabby Whitaker, bugler of my old regiment. Hi. <laughs> and this is young Bill Cody. Pleased to meet you, Jerry. I've asked Cody to keep an eye on you. He's had a lot of experience on the planes. Take those over to my house. Well, uh, we'll be going. See you later. They're a great pair. You're going to like them. And young Cody will make you a good friend. Sure, he'll be a great help. Who did you say that old goat was? Old goat? You heard him say that, didn't you? Old goat, huh? Well, oh, forget it. Get on your horse. Uh. Now, tell me, how have you been getting along? Everything's been fine. But it meant a lot when you sent for me. It's a great chance to make a name for myself. Well, the survey's not going to be easy. There'll be opposition from the big ranchos, and you'll be working in Indian country most of the time. I was advised to put a more experienced man in charge, but uh, naturally, I wanted to help you along all I can. part of the Regus Grant. Si, senor. And much more besides, for miles and miles. These we call the Badlands. Full of ghosts and evil spirits, I suppose. Acuna hides him here. What does he mean? Comanches. I haven't seen any Indians. That's the kind to be careful of, the kinds you can't see. They attacked us the other night. Killed two vaqueros and stole our horses. Hit 
by an Indian arrow. Might be poison. Take him to his quarters. I'll send for a doctor. We can't wait for no sawbones. I'll take care of him. There's the four. Give me some hot water. Lots of it. Helena. Hey, senor, he's a pro. Wait. How did Albert Carroll happen to be with you? We picked him up in town. He was showing us over the ranch. I'm making plans to start the government survey. You're wasting your time, senor. There will be no survey made of my property. We're only carrying out orders. I see no reason why your government should refuse to accept the wording of my grant. It is clearly authentic. Do you mind if I see it? I'll be happy to show it to you. Better not bring her in. Maybe he's right. You know how to do this? Sure I do. Then a hundred Indian fights. Doctored five men, same time. How? Simplest thing you ever see is just use hot water. And what will you do with it? Boy, any fool knows that. Yeah, you just pour the hot water in the air hole and let it drain out the other side. I think maybe you'll stay out here. Elena will know. She can cure anything from warts to a broken arm. Tonya, I want you to do me a favor. It's about the land survey. Well? You've got to believe this. It's only a formality. The land office has to have some sort of an official record. I've never trusted your government. Then trust me. When the report is turned in, you'll have clear title to your ranch. You expect me to persuade my grandfather? That's up to you. Unless you can make him change his mind, there'll be killing and bloodshed on both sides. There's no reason why it can't be avoided. Perhaps it won't hurt to talk to him. Come. And all the land from the divide of the Sangro de Cristo Mountains to the distance a horseman can gallop between sunrise and sunset. This land grant, together with the description of my rancho, senor, was given to my people by the King of Spain over 200 years ago. You don't understand, Don Regis. The United States Land Office can't accept a description of real property in this form. The surveyor must reduce this to meets and bounds. But it all seems so unnecessary to me. But it isn't, Grandfather. Don't tell me you are going to argue their way, too. But the survey isn't going to change anything. They're simply making a record of our boundaries to go on file in Washington. It's all to your advantage. No one can ever question you or your descendants about the legal ownership. You'll save yourself a lot of trouble. We're making this survey whether you want it or not. What do you mean? I wouldn't put it that way, Jerry. He means the government will keep trying for years. Wouldn't it be better now while you're able to protect your interests? You're right. I'll give the order to Montez. You may go ahead. You can depend upon Montez for any further information. He is well acquainted with my affairs. I'll remember that. Uh, we'll be working out this way. You won't be too busy to call? I'll be busy thinking up excuses to call. If that shoulder stiffs up on him, don't come around bellering to me. I was ready and willing to fix it. Hi, Kayase! Get out of here, old goat! Goat! I never was so insulted in all my life. Emilio, I'm so happy to see you. Never mind that. I want to know how you will get along with this fellow Jerry Calhoun. You're not jealous, are you? He means nothing to me. No, none of these men do, but money does. What do you mean? Just this. I have a little plan for your friend Jerry. It's going to mean plenty of money for both you and me. Oh, Jerry, never have I seen such bad luck. You're just in time to save my life. It looks as if your bankroll is in more danger than your life. I lose all my money, every dollar. But you will help me, won't you? Your dice, Dolores. You roll for me. Maybe you are lucky. No, we'll never get it back that way. Go on, get some more. You've been spending a lot of time at the cantina, haven't you? The last few nights? Why? 
Nothing. Only your father thinks an awful lot of you, and I'd hate to see you get in any trouble. Those beans are tough to beat. I can take care of myself. I've heard a lot of smart men say that. You can't expect me to work on that survey all day and sit around nights doing nothing. Sorry, that's a bad one. Well, that breaks me. Oh, you can't quit now. Your luck is bound to change. Emilio, be a good fellow and lend him some money. Well, all right. As a favor to you, we can't disappoint the lady. Six is the point. Finding out. Yes, perhaps it won't be necessary. I understand your survey takes you into the Regus Grant beginning tomorrow. Yes, but I don't see it's how. It's very that. simple. We call the whole debt off. If you happen to find out that the northern section do not belong to Don Regus. Seems to be a very complete report, Jerry. I see Don Regas thought he owned more property than he actually did. That's right. The uh, northern section doesn't belong to him. Better ride over to the Regas Rancho and notify Don Regas that the survey is completed. Tell him the north section is not included in his grant, that it's free land. Yes, sir. He's on the range. We'll be back soon, senor. Uh, we'll wait for him. Is Tony here? You have only to call, senor. Uh, could I borrow your guitar? Senor, I can't stand.
such a pretty flower, too. Oh, hello. You've made Elena so happy. You've no idea how romantic she is. You've been here all the time. I heard you singing. Diego, Senor Cody has finished his serenade. He thanks you for your guitar. I suppose you came on business. I have a message for your grandfather. It's from the colonel. Shall we go inside? Yes, sir. It's coming along fine, Pancho. You know, that reminds me of the time I captured 50 Indians all by myself, single-handed. You did? Yeah. How'd you do this? Simple enough, I surrounded them. You seem worried. Perhaps you'd better tell me. Well, it isn't easy. The colonel sent me out here to let you know the result of the survey. It shows that your grandfather doesn't own as much land as he thinks. What's this about the survey? I'm afraid you're going to lose some of your land. The entire north section isn't included in your grant. And the survey lies. Well, I was more surprised than anybody. I can understand it. I can. It's your government. You Americans have hated us. Stolen almost everything we own. Now you're trying to take our land. The mine, that after. I haven't heard anything about a mine. A legendary gold mine in that north section. Give this answer to Colonel Calhoun. I'll take this matter to Washington. They'll give me justice or I'll know the reason why. I'll give him your reply, sir. I'm leaving for Washington tomorrow. See that preparations are made. Si, senor. Tonya, I'd like to help you and your grandfather. We've had enough help from you. You told me I could trust you, trust your government. But you don't understand. I understand too well. You're just like all other Americans. Selfish, greedy, dishonest. I hope I've seen you for the last time. Dolores said I was to meet you. Anything wrong? There may be. Don Rieger says go to Washington. That means trouble. I was afraid your report would not stand investigation. He wouldn't have a chance. If they sent loose the bears out here, the whole thing would blow up on our faces. Then he must never get to Washington. I didn't think you'd go that far, but you would. You'd kill him. And why not? He's dangerous to both of us. I won't stand for murder. I don't care what happens to me. Let my father find out. I'm sure hepped up about that survey. It's free land. Should be traipsing off to Washington, you think he'd file a claim on it. He wouldn't, but I'll bet somebody else has. And that's what we're going to find out. Is the Colonel in? He just left. We'll wait for him. Hey, that's the Colonel's desk. What was the idea to ask him for him? You saw him right away, didn't you? Here it is. Montez. J. 
Jerry fixed that survey for him. Yeah. So that's what they were so thick about. Maybe we can handle this without the Colonel finding out. You know, Gabby, I've got a feeling Montez will never let Don Regis get to Washington. We'd better follow that stage. What are you doing in that desk? Why, nothing. It was an earthquake and we were straightening things up. You're both under arrest. I didn't feel any earthquake. No? Well, you're going to feel one now. They're out of range. Thirteen Comanches and two scouts. That just makes it even. as soon as I patch up this arm. Oh, I reckon he'll pull through all right. We better get him out of here. Comanches jumped the stage out of Painted Rock. Killed the whole kitten caboodle. The bullet hit him a glancing blow. I guess they thought he was dead, but he'll be all right. Take him to his room. Take him to his room. Take him to his room. I don't want to alarm him, miss, but that raid might have been deliberately planned. Maybe Gabby and I'd better stick around. We have the carols. Hmm. Huh. Didn't say she's any too friendly. 
we're going to be right here just the same. Don Regas is dead. Grant, Grant is not here. Did you search him carefully? We had no time. We were attacked by white men shooting from the rocks. We could not tell their number. We must go back. Body on Rodriguez was here. It is gone. Then somebody must have taken it to the rancho. I will go on alone. I wish Jerry would show up. Maybe he could explain why Cody and Gabby found it necessary to rifle this office. Find them? No, sir. No trace of Cody and his friend. But we found the stage. The stage? Burned. Passengers, guard, and driver all killed. Comanche, sir. We'll take a wagon and whatever men you need and bring in the bodies. Ain't no sense, Bill, sitting around here. Well, you can go into Santa Fe if you want, but I'm going to stay. I ain't going unless you do. What I'm saying is, might have been wrong about Montez. No, them was engines that raided that stage. I've been thinking about that. It's the only part that doesn't add up. Big Dipper's beginning to drop. Must be past midnight. Don Regis, ain't nobody else got any business on that balcony. Keep your eyes shining, I'm going in. I boiled it from the yard of Wayne the way you said. How is he, Elena? Will he get well? He won't. He's a strong old man. The shock will wear him off. In a few hours, we'll see him on the way to recover. doing here? There's someone in that room. I saw him moving in the shadows. Probably one of the servants.
There's your answer, Gabby. Montez knew where he was headed. Smack dab into a Cooner's camp or I'm a liar. Pancho, you ride into Santa Fe and tell Colonel Calhoun we've located the Cooner's hideout. Si, senor. We'll stay here and keep an eye on Montez. Don Rigas is still alive. Call your men together. I ride with you to the attack. You dare to go with Acuna? It's too late to think of that. I was recognized at the Hacienda. There will be no safety for me now until the Rigas family is wiped out and the Hacienda burned to the ground. Look, Gabby, there's an army saddle. Well, that's Jerry's horse. I'd know it anyway. He must be down there somewhere. Well, if we're going after him, let's get started. of Indians out there. Let's make a break for it. We wouldn't have a chance. Uh, you don't think much of these Comanches, do you? You see them trophies? Each one of them means that some poor devil had the same low opinion of an Indian shooting eye. Maybe we'll get out of here yet. You think you still remember how to use this? You're darn tootin'. What's all this? 
He says Cody and Gabby have found a Kunis hiding place, sir. Uh, si, señor coronel. Uh, they'll wait there for you. Well, we'll ride at once. Assemble the man. Yes, sir. that wound in your shoulder. Not me. I started this, and I'm going to be in on it. I'd have ever expected to find him alive. <laughs> There's something I've got to tell you. It's about that survey. That's right. The north section belongs to Don Regis after all. There was a mistake in the figures. Jerry sent us in to see yesterday. He wanted to hold up the Montez claim before it was sent on to Washington. I guess that's why Montez wanted to get him out of the way to keep the real facts from being known. <laughs> well, that being the case, your original land grant can now be properly recorded. I'm afraid that is impossible. It has been missing since the Indians attacked the stage. Better let me bandage up that shoulder for you, son. Gabby. Yes, sir. Take six men and proceed immediately to... Where did you get that? Why, well, I picked it up out there where they mean and shot you. It happens to be worth a million dollars. Shucks, you think I didn't know that? Hmm. Huh. had a chance to tell you how ashamed I am for the way I treated you.
that way, Tonya. If things hadn't turned out the way they did, I'd be apologizing to you. Blow, breeze, blow, tell her that I love her. And she'll always be within my heart. Blow, breeze, blow, tell her that I need her. Cause I love her so.